Flash Thompson in the game because I know he becomes Agent Venom in the comics. <laughs> We'll see. I'm hoping it's it's probably Harry. I can't see who else it would be if it's not Eddie. Hmm. Like I said, it could be it could be any, it could be you know, probably almost anything. Probably Craven. I mean, Craven's not too far off either. I do know there's going to be some more MJ missions and stuff, and but like less that there was in the first one, but still you can play as like MJ and shit. Oh yeah, that's another thing that they're complaining about too. If you ever watch like the actual trailer to it, like MJ's design looks a bit different. I'm like, yeah, because she's older. <laughs> yeah. Like they're literally in their mid twenties, which is what they were in the first one too. But I'm just saying, like they're older. That's. It's just, it's just and she has her hair down too. It's not like she has her hair up like she always did. I, w I would like them to address, because apparently from what I heard, I've seen a clip of it, into the, uh, what's it called, Across the Spider-Verse. There's like a, apparently in Across the Spider-Verse, there's like a part where they're walking, like Miguel's making them walk through like everything, and there's like different Spider-Man variants and stuff. Like one of them is like Donald, Gl uh, Donald Glover's like Prowler and shit from Spider-Man Homecoming. That's besides the point. There's one of the PS5 Spider-Man like trapped in a cage. And I'm like, I wonder if they'll address that. Like, I wonder if he'll mention how the Spider Society like kidnapped him or something. Like, I wonder if he'll mention that. Because, like, if you look carefully when you scroll by, there's even, like, what is it? There's Spectacular Spider-Man from the TV show. I think there's Ultimate Spider-Man's in there, too. And then the PS5 Spider-Man. He's, like, in a cage. He's like, guys, help me. He's, like, in a glass cage or something. And I'm like, I wonder if they'll mention that he just got, like, rifted out of his dimension for, like, two seconds. Yeah, it'll probably be something where, like, he got rifted out of his dimension for, like, fucking two seconds. And then he came back and he was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> I would also like to see, like, because they had the DLCs in the first one, I would like to see a DLC that has to do with the Spider-Verse, like, go meet, like, Spider-Gwen or something. That'd be pretty cool. Or even mention what happened to Gwen Stacy. I'm assuming in that universe she died, but I don't know. Actually, to be honest, I don't want to be that much of a jerk to say this. MJ is such the better girlfriend for Spider-Man, but I would actually love to see, like, a massive plot twist in the game where they, like, break up again like they did in the first one. He just, like, dates Gwen for a bit, and then she dies, and then he goes back with MJ. <laughs> or even Silk. He's dated so many people in, in Spider-Man. It's not even funny. Hey, you know, you think Black Cat will show back up? What? You think Black Cat will show back up? For Black Cat? Nah, she showed up in the original game too, but she was like barely there. She was there for like two seconds in the original, but she was still there. But yes, in the DLC, she had a more prominent role. I would like to, because apparently I do hear that the, if you look in the trailer too, Martin Lee's back in it, like Mr. Negative, and Miles looks to be mad at him, so in some form of capacity, Mr. Negative will be back, I don't know how. Which actually, actually, yeah, someone came out with this theory saying that, again, when you watch the gameplay trailer... Venom says, or Harry says, we're going to heal the world when he's talking to Pete. And then later on, when you see Venom, Venom says he's going to, we're going to heal the world. So I'm assuming Harry's a symbiote. But the theory goes is that Mr. Negative will play a part in turning the Venom symbiote into um, anti-Venom, which is the white version. So, which is the version that can actually heal shit. So I think Harry's going to get cured by having the symbiote turn into the anti-Venom. And then he'll be cured of his disease. And then it will go on to someone else or something. That's what I think. Yeah, we'll see. We'll 
No, because if Mr. Negative's in the game, I can see them actually turning the symbiote into the uh, the anti-venom symbiote. I can see them doing that. To be honest, though, I do want to see the anti-venom symbiote. <laughs> Because from what, from what I read, too, because I, I, Spider-Man's my favorite hero, so I know a lot about like all of his villains and stuff. But from what I read one time is that the Anti-Venom symbiote, like I said, did come from Mr. Negative, turned it into the Anti-Venom symbiote. And that symbiote is meant to be like, well, Venom symbiote, like anybody that uses it can like slowly decay and kill them. The Anti-Venom's like more the opposite and it heals shit. So that's the only logical explanation I can think of how Harry could get cured of his disease is by having the Anti-Symbiote. Makes sense when you think about it. Just looking at my phone, sorry, I'm I'm looking at my phone too while I'm playing and I'm just like fucking this shows up in my YouTube reels all the time about some like hot ass fucking gym girl with like blonde hair and I'm just like, oh she's beautiful. that the boys ends up doing or that the boys that the Fortnite ends up doing is the boys Oh yeah, what about the Wolverine game? Are you excited for that too? That's also created by Insomniac who did Spider-Man, so that'll be a good one. They're still working on it, but it'll be nice to have that one. Alright, well I guess we'll, we'll, we'll run away from that guy. <laughs> Guns ass. Why did I even fucking pick this gun up? It's terrible, this fucking gun. The bloom on this is so bad. Team on me. Look. <laughs> Woo. What a fight, man.
Yeah, that's what I want. Not a uh, fucking gun that has terrible bloom. Fuck. Oh, I'm going for that guy in the hill. Fuck you, kid. I'm coming, I'm coming. That guy ended up too far away. I'm coming. I don't want this SMG anymore, but I'm still coming. What a shitty place for the island to be, legit. I'm actually hoping there will be like Mysterio and we'll be in it and Sandman and stuff too. I don't know. Do you, you, you have you played the first one, Izzy You said what? Have you played the first Spider-Man one? Yeah, we played both. You played both? Oh, the Miles one too. Yeah, okay. Do you know that Sandman was indirectly mentioned? So like, I hope he's like a boss fight in the second one. Because it was like when you find all those backpacks, Peter was like, oh yeah, I remember I trapped Sandman in a test tube and he's been there ever since. And I'm like, imagine just being in there for eight years. So I'm like, I'm wondering if he'll break out somehow and then you fight him. I would also love to see a Mysterio boss fight. That'd be pretty cool. Mysterio, I'd love to see Chameleon, Carnage. Chameleon, Carnage, Lizard, obviously. Mysterio, Venom, Craven. Who else? Armadillo is one of them, but I don't know. Man wolf. Oh shit, you know came out? Spider Man Lotus. I gotta watch that shit actually. The fire, uh, Spider Man Lotus? When did that come out? I thought that didn't come out because of the actor's controversial tweets or something. It came out yesterday. Uh, On YouTube? Yes, I need to go watch that actually. I'm gonna go watch that too, actually, probably after this if we win this game. I was going to watch that, but then they canceled it because the actor's tweets, but then I thought about it. I was like, it's probably never going to come out. No, but. it just came out, it came out yesterday. And, uh, I, came I might actually go see it. It looks pretty good. Like, for these for these random young people to create, like, a massive, like, fan film of one of the most popular superheroes. Yeah, I'll definitely go look at it. It looks pretty sick.
I remember the the when I watched the trailer for it at first, that part where it's just like he goes and visits the kid like he does in Spider Man Lotus. They had that in the animated series in like nineteen ninety two or whatever the hell it was, where it was the same thing. He goes to some girl's room who has cancer and she like literally the moment he leaves, the next day she dies and I was like, Damn <laughs> I remember that. It was in the animated series. She's like, I've always wanted to meet. And he, like, takes off his mask, and he goes, yeah, I'm Peter Parker. She's like, oh, my God. And then, like, the moment he leaves, the next day she dies. I was like, God damn. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Imagine your dying wish was to meet Spider-Man. I tried looking for it on my TV box, but couldn't find it. It doesn't have everything. I wish it was there. They canceled it after a certain time because I wanted to see what happened with MJ. I remember that she was like a water clone or something from Hydra Man. Yeah, she had things in all different and then I think after they canceled that, they retconned the story to say that he found her because she was trapped in a different dimension, Madam Web or something, Center One or something. No, she 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 got teleported to another dimension or something, and then Madam Web found her, and then fucking she was like, yeah, Spider Man, here's MJ, and then found MJ, and then she disappeared at the end of the last season that got canceled too or something again. And I was like, wow, she keeps disappearing. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Madam Web, I know Sony's making a Madam Web movie too. I hope they don't do this, but I keep hearing rumors about uh, them doing a movie with Julia Carpenter. I got you, man. Sold off, Pfeiffer. I'm gonna resurrect Izinagi. We need him. Mega City, we go. Or not. Actually, we go this way. Do you think there's going to be any more Spider Man movies with Tom Holland? No, but I heard a rumor about Toby might make it in a fourth one. Yeah, I think he. I think he wants to do a fourth one. He wants to return, and they already have a script and stuff read, uh, uh, wrote. But because of the writer strike, they haven't been able to, you know, do more for it. But I also hear a rumor that Tom Holland's considering leaving the role and passing it on to like Julia Carpenter, Spider Woman, or something. But like at the same time, I was thinking about it and said that's cool, all well and cool and shit. But like you're gonna leave the role that's making you the most money and made you the most popular. Like I'm sorry, but you know. <laughs> The fact is, you want to have another Spider-Man. I don't think I'd deal with that. At least if you, at least if they, if he does leave, put Miles or something. At least do that. But to put Spider-Woman, she's not as popular. Like Julia Carpenter, she's not as fucking popular. She's, to be honest, she's kind of like the stupidest Spider-Woman. To be honest. <laughs> As much as I want to believe Kevin Feige and all them saying that the MCU Earth is 616, I don't believe them. Because <laughs> in the comics, mainstream Marvel Universe is 616, and they're like, Kevin Feige's like, oh yeah, that's what the MCU Earth is, and I'm like, nah, it can't be. It's There's no fucking way it is. To, have M to, have, to make that Earth 616 and then have Iron Man die like after a few movies, I don't fucking believe that. Dude, I just got lasered on. There's a kid. I knew there was someone on the hill. Whoa, I'm getting hit like crazy. There's like a full team. I was getting hit like crazy, man. They're resing their teammate right here. Nice. Uh, don't let those grenades blow me up. <laughs> yeah, after this, I'm going to get off. Probably go watch that Lotus or whatever. Plus, I want to... Uh, I already ate, but I want to do, uh, go out for a walk or something, do something else, so... 
usually go out for an evening walk around a certain time and go to the park or whatever, so. One guy left, where would he be? Did it really come out though, Spider-Man Lotus? Cause like, I remember what they were saying it wasn't supposed to, so. Yeah, it's funny, I know Viper has a mic and he never talks, but he's probably sitting here going, what are these two nerds talking about? Oh, this guy's seriously hiding. Oh, there he is. 